What's going on, YouTube? We are back today with a sports talk episode. A lot of stuff has gone down in the NFL, has happened in the NFL. And uh, just going to go over it situation wise, mostly with the focus in the NFC East. But uh, we'll do some other things too. So uh, let's start with the Redskins. They haven't done a whole lot. We re signed uh, Colt McCoy as a backup. We uh, re-signed our safety, Duke Iannaccio, uh Mason Foster, and Golston. So we signed those players, uh, but other than that, we haven't done anything. We did have Chris Long in a visit on Tuesday, I do believe it was Tuesday, we had him visit. And uh, I'm still waiting for them to sign Junior Gallette, who was injured last year, but... We'll just have to wait and see on that. Other moves that have happened, let's stay with the Eagles, who, uh, once again this season, they're getting rid of all the Chip Pe Kelly mistakes, and uh, they're doing what they did last year, is trading a ton of people away. So they traded uh, DeMarco Murray. They basically traded DeMarco Murray for free. They gave up. Uh, they traded DeMarco Murray in their first-round pick for... Well, no, it was a fourth-round pick. So they traded DeMarco Murray in a fourth-round pick for, or a sixth-round pick for a uh, Titans fourth-rounder or something like that. Well, something really just didn't uh, didn't do a whole lot for him. They didn't get really that much back. Whatever they traded for. Where is it? Traded running back to Marco Murray in a fourth round pick to Tennessee. Oh no, they traded a fourth round pick for a fourth round pick. Okay, so they traded to get the first pick in the fourth round to and uh, gave Tennessee their pick in the fourth round. So basically they gave them away for free. They didn't really get that much back for them. And then they send... Uh, Kiko Alonso and Byron Maxwell for a first rounder for their 13th pick, and they got the eighth pick in the draft from the Dolphins. Once again, the Dolphins got two players and a later pick in the first round. That's what, seven picks later? Six picks later? Whatever it is. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, five picks later. What, what is my math doing? Oh. So five picks later. So really, you gave up two players and didn't really get that much back from it. Well, how much of a difference is an eight pick from a 13th pick? I don't think there's that much. Not really. So they trade all those guys away. They also got an offensive lineman, Brandon Brooks, and a safety yesterday. They also signed Chase Daniels yesterday. Uh, they got another cornerback in Ron Brooks. No idea who that is. And they got another uh, tackle yesterday. So they made a lot of moves. Uh, the Giants also made a lot of moves by re-signing Jason Pierre-Paul. Uh, they also got Oliver Vernon, which they would give away their first round pick to get him. Uh, they signed him to a lot of money. A lot of money. Maybe they ever. They've done a lot of spending, and I don't know if you want to do all that. They're looking like the Redskins used to do. It's like all these players, and I uh, hope something happens. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Just because you get all these free agents doesn't mean you're going to do well. you got to have the right free agents. They, they're just throwing money all over the place. Honestly, I don't know if that's the best idea for them. So they get Vernon. They get... Uh, Jenkins, a cornerback, used to be for the Rams, I do believe. And they also get a defensive tackle, Damon Harrison. I don't even know who that is. I don't think Dallas has done anything. Oh, no, they got they re-signed uh, McClain. That's all they've done. Other news, Drew Stanton signed back with the Cardinals. Uh, Alex Mack signed with the Falcons. That's a big deal. And they, uh, Benjamin Watson signed with the Ravens. Charles Johnson's going back to uh, Carolina. The Bears signed Danny 
Trevathan, who uh, was on the Denver Broncos this year, they signed him to a four-year deal. Also got offensive tackle, uh, Bobby Massey, I think that's his name. And also we signed Tracy Porter to a three-year contract. Uh, other big news. Lions signed Haloti Nata. Brock Osweiler went to Houston on a four-year deal. That was kind of surprising. Matt Hasselback retired. Mercedes Lewis is staying in Jacksonville. Uh, any other big big names? We're just looking for big names. Mario Williams went to uh, Miami, which is kind of a surprise. Other big names? I think that's about... Oh, Kobe Fleener went to the Saints. Jeff Cumberland and Jeremy Curley were released by the Jets today. Bruce Irvin's going to Oakland. And I think that's about all the big names. Oh, Jeremy Lane staying with uh, Seattle. That's about all the big names we got. Uh, also, other moves by the Redskins, we uh, released Deshaun Goldson. We released a bunch of Deshaun Goldson, Robert, and Jason Hatcher, and Jerome Johnson. Goldson, we might re-sign and uh, just take less money for him. Because his con he was hit on the salary cap this year was like $8 million. So probably going to just re uh, hopefully re-sign him. Uh, Logan Mankins also retired from Tampa. Also, Peyton Manning retired. We all know about that. Not surprised how Peyton winning uh, <clears throat> winning the Super Bowl and going out. That's not surprised. Any other big stuff? I don't think so. I think that's about it. Oh yeah, Calvin Johnson also announced his retirement. So he is done. So a couple people retired. Big big names retired this week. Yeah, so far today, I don't think there's been any news yet on this Thursday morning. Uh, I will keep up to date with that. But I don't think there's been any big news so far. But, uh, oh, Lamar Miller also went to Houston. That was a big deal, at least for me. Because I thought he might come to us here in D.C. He didn't. Uh, anyone else that I thought was going to come here? I didn't announce this. Why isn't that on here? I'm not sure why that's not on here. Jeremy Lane was also another one I thought that might come to D.C., but he's staying in Seattle. Uh, Trevathan, I was hoping would come to DC, but I knew he'd be too much money. We probably wouldn't sign him. I think that's about it. I'm glad we re-signed Mason Foster, though. And, uh, I'm glad we re-signed the people who we did at, honestly. Ian is big, too. He was hurt last year, so we'll see how he does this year. I don't know what we plan on doing safety-wise, though. If we're going to just do D-Hall and Duke. If that's going to be our safeties or we're going to re-sign Goldson. Because Duke got hurt last year, so I don't know about his health. Same thing with D'Angelo. He got hurt last year, so I don't know about his health. We still have Kaishan Jarrett, but he's coming off like a nerve injury thing. So we got to wait and see about him. Uh, still don't have the corners I would like. We might re-sign Will Blackman again. But he's up there in age. He is up there in age. And Chris Culliver's still coming off the ACL. We don't know about him. Still a lot of work to do on the defense. We might get some other signings coming through later. And Chris Long still hasn't figured out where he's going to go. So there's still a lot of stuff up in the air. But we really do need to figure out what, what uh, is going on with that secondary. But uh, it's been a been crazy. Peyton Manning's officially retired. I've been watching Peyton since I've watched football, so 18 years. Yeah, he's been around since I started watching football. So, 
I started watching football when I was five, so he's, I've been watching him for 17 years. No, 16 years. 17, 16 years. Long time. Long, long time. 18 years is a good career. Now, Kevin Johnson, he's 31, I think. But he's going to turn 31. He's still young, and he's retiring. I don't blame him retiring from uh, the Lions because they've only had, like, one, two good years since when he's been there. They've had a great – he hasn't had a great career uh, with the Lions. They've, he got dealt in a bad place. Luckily for him, he performed right – even though he uh, was only the best receiver on the team for his whole career. Never gave him that much help. Matthew Stafford is bipolar when it comes to football. He has a good year, then he has a bad year. Never can get it right. He seems to throw a lot of interceptions. A lot of interceptions. And uh, it's sad he couldn't be on a better team than the Detroit Lions. But that's what happens in the NFL. But he had a great career, even though he might he might come back. It's like Marshawn Lynch. Uh, actually, no, I don't think Marshawn Lynch is going to come back. And anyone that's going to retire and come back, I think Calvin might. But I don't think uh, Marshawn will. I think that's about it. I don't think there's anything else to go over today. Uh, went through a lot. Unfortunately... Redskins haven't made any big moves that I would like. It doesn't have to be big. It's just got to make some signings in our secondary, safety-wise. Uh, defensive line, I'm not too worried about if we get Junior Gallette back and draft, and, and draft some people. I'm not so worried about. Uh, middle linebackers, I feel like Mason Foster and Will Compton will hold that down. We've got Kerrigan and Preston Smith. So, I feel confident in our linebackers right now. I mean, will we draft someone if the right person is there? Yes. But I think our bigger need is defensive tackle at this point and uh, defensive end at this point. But uh, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Whew. It's gone off for a good 12 minutes. So, uh, let's finish this up. Don't think there's anything else to go over today. Uh, if there's other big news, we might do it later on down the road. But uh, big stuff going on just today, uh, basketball-wise. March Madness kind of, the beginning of March Madness kind of begins with all the tournaments going on. Got the ACC tournament going on right now. I think got the big East tournament coming on on today or tomorrow. Got the PAC tournament going on. So. I think that even the SEC tournaments going. There's a bunch of bas college basketball tournaments going on right now. I'm sure, the Big 12 has their uh, basketball tournament going on too. So a lot of college basketball will be watched. So it's that time of year. You know, March Madness right now. Next week we will be in uh, getting into day one right now. Day one will be starting right now. Brackets. So uh, a lot of big stuff going on with basketball right now. But uh. At least college-wise. NBA. Golden State's still doing their thing. I think they won by like 20 or something like that last night. Steph Curry didn't have a point in the first quarter. But you know what he does. He went crazy. But that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, share. I am out next time, as always. Do work.